Can tapping into the water vapour in air be the solution to the impending water crisis? This Bengaluru-based deep tech startup certainly thinks so. Uravu Labs is making water from air. And there is plenty of water there, close to nine times that of all our freshwater rivers. And they plan to extract this water using just renewable energy sources. We use technology called desiccant technology. There are so many desiccant materials out there. The very common material that you would have seen very likely is silica gel. The property of silica gel is such that 10 kgs of silica gel material can pick up about 2 kgs or 2 liters of water when subject to ambient air for about 3 hours. When we heat up this 12 kgs of silica gel mass to about 60 degrees Celsius, earlier as adsorbed 2 kgs or 2 liters of water will be dissolved in form of water vapor and we condense that water. Uh, upon condensation, we re recover that water. So today, we have moved to a material called calcium chloride and you know salt-based uh, desiccant materials, lithium chloride, lithium bromide and these kinds of choices. These materials offer us much more scalability. The cost is less than when we produce, we want to produce a similar amount of water when compared to a uh, silica gel system. Urabu Labs isn't the only company making water from air. But the use of renewable energy sources, such as solar panels and biomass, sets it apart from competition. So what we are trying to do here is, uh, we are trying to make a decoupled approach. We have taken a decoupled approach. Uh, in this approach, we make our machine separate to the energy unit. Uh, and energy unit could be any, it could be solar, it could be waste heat, uh, or it could be biomass or any other source of renewable energy. Uravu Labs recently ventured into the hospitality industry through bottled water to append the water consumption and make the sector more sustainable. Their greater goal, however, remains to make sustainable water accessible for all. Going to the hospitality sector in the beginning is on our own is to create awareness, to, uh, to create curiosity in the minds of customers uh, and to build more traction with the market. But the end goal really is that we want to become infrastructure provider uh, for the existing beverage companies wherein they can produce renewable water and then use in their uh, beverage products. Not so surprisingly, data and analytics is at the heart of Urabu Labs functioning. From machine calibration to water quality monitoring, data is meticulously managed and studied. When we design our machines, of course, data is required to dimension out the machines and uh, then the water that we produce, the quality of that water, again, the data comes into picture. As soon as we collect the water, we take, take out samples. These samples help us establish the quality of the water. We do chemical analysis, we do microbial analysis, we, we do many other kinds of analysis required, uh, you know, uh, uh, to check the quality of the water. A fast-growing team and a hungry management is most likely to ensure we have access to sustainable water very soon. Um, so, what started as a dream of just four members um, just three years back uh, now, now has become a 120 member team and with this team we are very sure that we will be able to bring the renewable water disruption in the water domain.